What's going on, you guys? You guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to the channel. It's your girl, Prince here. And it's your girl, Tati. And, and we, we are, are the main odds. It's the main man. So, you guys, for today's video, we are going to be trying the healthiest things at fast food restaurants. We love fast food restaurants. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, I personally love you fast food. You love fast food restaurants. So, we are going to be trying healthiest fast food restaurants. I doubt there's much healthy food at the fast food restaurants. Not healthy fast food restaurants, but the healthier options. The healthier options. At the fast food restaurants. Every fast food restaurant has some sort of option that's healthier than their main Except for McDonald's. Things. I don't think McDonald's, no, McDonald's has that. Trust me, McDonald's got healthy options. Oh, God. Healthier. Healthier options. So, we're going to be trying these things, and we are going to review these things. And whilst we're on the topic of eating healthy and cleaning up your diet, we have teamed up with UniMeal to help you get all your fitness and dietary needs in check. So, what is UniMeal? UniMeal is an effective weight loss app. The UniMeal app is personalized and tailored to you and your needs. UniMeal provide personal meal plans suited for every user according to your needs, goals, and age. So it's basically like having your own dietitian in your pocket. One thing that I do love about UniMeal, you guys, is that they have a variety of workout plans such as yoga, functional training, and so many more. So you can also use the app to work out, get fit, and also use it to make sure that you are eating correctly, eating healthy, and just keeping on top of your diet. Another thing that I do love about UniMeal as well is that they make it fun. Because dieting sometimes is not a fun thing to do, especially when you like to feast like me. But UniMeal make it fun and enjoyable. They send you reminders to drink your water, to exercise, and it doesn't feel too pushy. It feels like you're working as a team with them and they are helping you achieve your goals. And with UniMeal, you don't have to be eating disgusting food, you guys. UniMeal makes it enjoyable to have a healthy meal with lots of delicious food to choose from on the app. Really, really do love this app and I am actually trying to get myself back into shape um, as I have been cheating on my diet, but UniMeal really helps me get back into shape with the exercises and a perfect meal plan tailored straight to me. So you guys, you think uni meal is something that you can get with and something that can help you along your fitness journey. Go down below in the description and you'll see all the information about uni meal and how to download the app. Thank you uni meal for sponsoring today's video. Let's get straight into this video. So where are we going? We're gonna go to McDonald's, we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A and we're going to Starbucks. That's a pretty solid lineup to yeah. get some decent items. I can't think of anywhere else, like go for fast food. Maybe Taco Bell for you, but I don't eat Taco Bell. Nah, I gotta be like in the mood for Taco Bell. I don't just be eating Taco Bell like that. What about that, KFC? KFC? I mean, we could. Hello. Let's just start. Let's start with those three. Okay. And let's see what happens. First stop is gonna be McDonald's. Let's yes. get McDonald's. McDonald's always has to go for it. Because McDonald's is the number one fast food restaurant in the world, you feel me? So let's hit McDonald's and see what they got. Uh -huh. I already know what they got. Let me see what they got. No, don't tell me. I just wanna I wanna be surprised. You wanna be surprised. But you guys, if you guys see anything that you see, don't forget to, I don't know, pause the video, take a picture, or we will put it down below in the description, everything that we got. So you guys can also get something yeah, healthy. You have to if you're not feeling, you know. Know, double yeah, cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, <laughs> quarter pound of Big Mac. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to eat healthier and you're on the road, we're gonna show you how to do it at the fast food spots. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's see what healthy stuff they've got Let's on the ask menu. Them. Let's ask. Them. Hi, healthier. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I got a question for you. Do you have any like healthy items on your menu? We don't really. <laughs> You don't have anything healthy? Hey, yeah, uh, not really. Okay, what's the healthy is? I got some apple slices or oatmeal. All right, let us get an oatmeal, some apple slices. You guys do parfaits? No, we don't. Girl, what do you think you are? Okay, let's do the mango pineapple smoothie, a small one. All right, we'll take we'll take those. I'm not gonna lie, McDonald's do better because how do you have not one single healthy thing on the menu? But that's kind of like fast food for you. Yeah, like oatmeal. Oatmeal, but I feel like that oatmeal is not healthy because that oatmeal tastes too good to be healthy. That oatmeal's we got apple slices, we got a mango pineapple smoothie, and we also got oatmeal. So I guess that's the healthiest stuff they have on their menu. 
and the oatmeal and the smoothie is something that I already get. So I already know the oatmeal is fire. I, I get it after the gym sometimes. I don't get any and then I get the smoothie, you be busting too. It don't taste healthy though. It tastes OD sweet, but it's, it's, it's fire. So I would recommend the oatmeal and I would recommend the smoothie. The apple slices, I don't really know about those. Uh, I don't really know about the apple slices. I think I've had apple slices before. It's nothing crazy. But. So this is what I'm gonna start making you get when we kind of. Uh, Bye. I'm not. I'm not. No, because if you go to McDonald's, you may as well just have the whole shebang. You may as well have. No, you may not. May you may the not. Double cheese. Well. No. The triple cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have got the goods, okay? I wouldn't say goods. We got the goods, and we're going to start off with the, the, the apple slices. The apple slices. <laughs> this is what we got here. It's not necessarily one full serving of fruit. It's literally three slices. Are you kidding me? It's three slices in here coming in hot at 15 calories. That's uh, not too bad. I didn't know fruit had calories in it. You thought fruit was no calories? No, I thought that only bad stuff had calories in it. Well, everything has calories, except for like water. Oh, guess you learn something new every day. Well, we got the apple slices. Have they they do, smell kind of smell? funny. I don't think I'm eating that. They just suck. They, I don't, I don't trust Fruit this. from McDonald's. Yeah, I don't trust the fruit from McDonald's. Damn, I'm gangster. It tastes like it has sugar in it. It's as so sweet mm -hmm. as apple, wherever I taste it. It's really good though. It's really nice. It's refreshing. It's really good. I don't know. I feel like it tastes better cold, but it is good. The oatmeal. Now, if you've never tried this, this oatmeal is a 10 out of 10 for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. You there's have it no, all the time. There's no nutritional facts on here, so we have no idea what's in here. So, And then it also comes with some diced apples. I never get the fruit. Though. Okay, McDonald's doing gourmet. And I think it comes with cranberry and raisins as well. Straight from the Mint Cafe, you feel me? The Mint Cafe. Oh, I should've got some creamer. Mom put me on today. You put a put a little creamer in here. Creamer in the oatmeal? Yeah. That sounds good. Turn it up. And then we have mango and pineapple smoothie. smoothie. Which she gets all the time. She said it's really good. So all in all, McDonald's isn't your best place to go and get a healthy meal from. Let's try this mango smoothie. This is good. Not my cup of tea. It's got it great like consistency, food. yeah. But I would say the first taste is, we have very different taste buds, you guys. But this is the problem with McDonald's oatmeal, right? It's very hit or miss. So what this one that? is too much. Why is this like watery? But it's literally like the oatmeal. I'll show you guys, look. Ah, no, <laughs> it's like soup, basically. Like, I shouldn't be able to scoop. If you don't stop. All that milk out of my oatmeal, but it's like water oatmeal. If I was really gonna plan on eating all this, I would have to go back in and get another one because there's no way I could eat eat this. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's try it. It might be it might taste better than it looks. Mm -hmm. Is it like paining you right now to not have a cheeseburger? It's paining me. It was hard going through the drive thru guys. Let me admit something. It was hard going through the drive-thru not getting my regular order of double cheese, fries, sweet and sour barbecue sauce, and a large Coke. But hey, this was a healthier option. And that is too watery. Way, Way too, too watery. McDonald's, yeah. zero stars. I know they don't care. Damn. That's why you should, when you go to McDonald's, just get, go all in. You might as well get something you're gonna like. <laughs> okay, next we have Chick-fil-A. Now I know Chick-fil-A has a bunch of healthy stuff, so there will be no issues at Chick-fil-A. Shouldn't be. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so we just pulled up at Chick-fil-A. We're about to see what they got, but we're not getting no salad, though. You know, that's a no-brainer. If you go yeah. to a, you know, if they have a salad available, you get the salad if you're trying to eat healthy, but we're not trying to eat no salad. I feel like it's going to be like a chicken sandwich or something. Chicken it's going to be like the healthiest on that menu. Without the bread, lettuce wrapped. That's how you do it if you try to get the straight. Yeah. Because the bread holds a lot of the calories, you feel me, the carbs, so. But the bread is like the best part. Yeah, but we on the healthy shit. We, we are, I know, but the bread is, it's a good part. It's a good part. <laughs> I'm really bad. <laughs> but we're at Chick-fil-A. What she ordered? And I don't want to hear nothing in the comments talking about y'all should not be eating at Chick-fil-A. Because they don't like gay people who stop it. They've always been damn nice to me. <laughs> Right? And give us nice food. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> it's know. It's like other people are going to support them anyway. So it's like, what does it matter if we do? You know what I mean? I don't like that though. I mean, like, don't go there because they don't, they don't know. It is what it is, man. As long as you don't disrespect me to my face, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I know y'all not going to like that I said that, but I said what I said. She said what she said. 
So okay. I mean, I don't really, I don't eat Chick-fil-A a lot, but they lemonades. The lemonade is good. Oh. Their fries are my favorite. Like I don't get anything else from Chick-fil-A unless it's like a large fry with Chick-fil-A sauce. I just got on the Chick-fil-A wave, you guys. Just. And I just eat their mac and cheese, but the last three times I had their mac and cheese, it wasn't even busting. So I'm kind of off Chick-fil-A anyway. So y'all can say it, save it, because this is not a normal occurrence for me. <laughs> but if we're gonna talk about the top fast food joints in terms of food, in and out, in and out, which we don't have in Atlanta, Chick-fil-A, <laughs> Chick-fil-A, guaranteed McDonald's. to get you some. Food. No. <laughs> I'm talking like in the terms of like fresh food, good, decent food. Oh yeah. And canes. Those would probably be the three top, that yeah, I would say. Top. McDonald's is, you know, McDonald's is McDonald's. They are in the lane of their own. They are. Right before we cut us. the camera on, baby was like, I just want some real food. <laughs> I like this though because we have been trying to, we, we're always trying to do better with our eating. Trying to eat clean, trying to go to the gym, you know, working out and whatever else. So we are trying to do better. But some days you just want to indulge, you know? I have those days quite often. <laughs> I have those days quite often. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. I feel somebody staring at my soul from inside the restaurant. It's crazy. <laughs> don't look now, but you'll see. Oh, don't look now. Pokes her whole head up. Uh, yeah, I want to see. I don't care if they're looking at over here. Let me go like that. Hey, hey. We just trying to look for some healthy options today. What you got that's healthy? Salad. No salad. No salad. They got a recall on lettuce right now. You feel me? He's cracking up at us. He's like, oh, these two. <laughs> but you guys, don't eat no salad from nowhere. Yeah. Got salmonella. Wait, so we're not going to be able to get lettuce right now? We're not healthy. I won't recommend the shake. No shake, no shake, no shake. Chick-fil-A, show us what you got. So, we got... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the healthiest things that we found on the menu. The guy did recommend salad, but we was like, we're not doing salad, because if you guys haven't already heard, they are recalling salad right now. Salad, you should not be eating a salad. They were calling a lot of stuff. If you guys have watched the Netflix documentary called The Truth About Your Food, then you'll know. We got a chicken sink. What it? What is it? Right, so we got a chicken sandwich with nothing, no bread or no lettuce, but we actually do have the bread. Oh, why does that look so good though? We got the bread, y'all. They gave <laughs> us the bread, so I mean, we gotta eat it. <laughs> Let's quickly open it up. I mean, quickly. this is not super unhealthy, right? I mean, it's it's a chicken. It's a chicken it's sandwich. A chicken sandwich. <laughs> it's a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Okay, so this is what it looks like inside, which it doesn't look too bad. I like how there's enough cheese on it. I'm not gonna hold you. This defeats the purpose of trying to get this healthy. This is not, yeah, this is not a healthy version. What I was trying to do is get it protein style, which is just lettuce wrap, but you know, just, they messed man, it up. I'm not trying to eat lettuce right now, you know what I'm saying? I would probably eat it. And it's, then, it's a lemonade with bits, so it makes it a little healthy. And then we got a parfait. It's so runny. Oh, it looks cute though. So we got a parfait. It comes with granola and it comes with like almonds and stuff like that. So you dive into that first. I can try the parfait yeah. and then we'll give, switch. I'm gonna give it a chop. Only Prince would ask for a knife and fork for her burger. I'm a classy man. You're bougie. I'm classy. And we got sauce because we already here. Like, can't do Chick-fil-A without the sauce. Here. So this is how much granola you get in this little packet right here. Why do I feel the audience, like I feel y'all watching this video right now being so mad that we eat Chick-fil-A. I kind of feel it. I put the granola inside. So let's give it a whirl. Mm, 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 mm. If you're going to do healthy Chick-fil-A, it's got to be this. This is really bomb. Yeah, we already determined that this is not the most healthiest. But I also don't think it's super bad. It's probably got about 30 grams of protein in it. You know, a little cheese on it. You know what I mean? Bread, probably 200 calories. Damn, I don't think shook it's that on bad. the granola. Slow down, stink. All in all, I'll say this is a good. This parfait is really nice. I'd say it just needs like more granola. Don't you have too bad? Mm hmm. The yogurt is cool. It tastes like Greek yogurt. And then it's got strawberries and blueberries in it. I haven't had a chicken sandwich in so long. Oh my god. It's really giving. Going in with the chicken salad. It's a chicken salad. That was the world's smallest bite. I don't like that. It's too spicy for you? Mm. My spice levels are a zero. But mm. I will say that it's got good flavor to it. I just personally wouldn't choose that because it's got spiciness. It's spicy. But it's got a lot of flavor to it. It's tasty. It's a tasty chicken sandwich. It's not the best chicken sandwich I've ever had, but it's a good chicken sandwich. But you guys, the guy did say the healthiest thing on that menu was the little fruit 
that we got from McDonald's. So all in all so far, like we haven't really had much healthy food. No, but Chick-fil-A has a better uh, actual fruit cup. Mm -hmm. Where to next, Starbucks? Yeah, let me taste that, baby. Oh yeah, I'm just... I'll just give a little review and give it back. It's really nice. It's like light. I feel like after you eat that chicken sandwich, you feel full and like... I feel great. Uh, but you haven't eaten it all. Mm. Mm. It's a good parfait. I didn't even know Chick-fil-A did parfait. Okay. The yogurt's fire. That's a good parfait. Enjoy the chicken I sandwich. love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna go to Starbucks next and see what they have and then wrap it up with Starbucks. Yeah. But so far, it's been cool. I don't think I've seen anything from Starbucks that I've... Maybe because I'm just not looking at the menu, like looking at healthy stuff. But this is different. This is definitely different going to fast food restaurants and not eating, you know. It's very different. And like, especially if you don't already just eat healthy in general. If you're trying to make a switch, in all reality, if you're trying to eat very clean, then you should be prepared. You shouldn't really be out and about and having to go to a fast food restaurant for your food because it's not going to be a good substitute rather than being prepared and having your food laid out. So, Starbies. Let's go. Let's go. You guys, I have to roll down the no. window. Stop. Be stop. Stop. Don't get don't a chicken do sandwich. Don't. Because Chris just farted don't in the car. That. And I don't swear to that. God, don't I could do throw that. up. Don't do that. You kept, kept, kept. Captain Crunch. Help! Stop. <laughs> I swear to God. No, I wish I put the camera on when she did the fart because you guys, you guys would have heard that uh -huh. and you would have been like, you know how Prince is when I do a fart. What do you mean? But I have to just be calm and collective. Like, hey, it's all right, babe. Don't worry about oh it. Oh my gosh, baby, stop it. Stop it. Nearly gas me the That's car. This is how I need to. <laughs> You're not to yell. But we're at Starbucks, you guys. And the line is long as shit. The line is long, but we're here. We're at Starbucks. Ready to try a <laughs> free meal. I'm ready for dessert. Yeah! The prince is in such a weird mood. <laughs> don't try that shit again where you did that far. I don't want it. You OD. But for you to get on camera and talk about Bye. my personal <laughs> business is crazy, yo. Next time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the windows. Shut the front door. Roll them up. Don't act like you've never done that to me before. You're gonna have to call the bomb <laughs> squad. <laughs> This is the game plan for Starbucks, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two items. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a drink, and we're not gonna choose the drink. We're gonna have the Bratista choose the drink to so let it know we're trying to get something okay. healthy. Fancy what? You know what I'm saying? Let's get something healthy. It's probably gonna be like a green tea. It's probably gonna be matcha. I don't like matcha. Ain't nobody like matcha. <laughs> Matcha looks good, but I don't he know. Yeah. But I'm gonna just tell her like, yo, we need something healthy. She gonna run it. Blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna get food. Something healthy for the foods. That's the game plan. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good. What can I do you for? What's one of your healthier options for drinks? Maybe a, a refresher? What's you that refresher? On that menu? Yeah. Just something lo low in calories. Uh, they are pre-mixed, so I can't lower the calories or take out sugar or nothing. Um, What's the healthiest thing you have on your menu? Uh, besides water. Radio, we got ourselves some Starbucks. Starbucks. So what did we, we get? got a grande frozen mango lemonade and I think it was 120 like calories. 20 calories, which is pretty pretty low for Starbies. Looks good. It does look good. It lo I love the color of it. The color is there. How is it? Come on, come on, come on. Would you? Like Some a, more? You gotta have all the puree at the bottom and it's top. Mm -hmm. You're taking the piss, right? It's good. It's good. Okay. Mm. It tastes healthy. Yeah, it doesn't it tastes, taste like. It tastes refreshing. Mm -hmm. It tastes very refreshing. I can recommend It's like a slushy that. almost. I can recommend like, that to you. This is like the puree down below yeah. at the bottom. And then this is like all the slushy part. I love the color of it. And then we also got a turkey. Oh, it tastes different when you don't get the puree. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. All the purees at the bottom. A turkey bacon sandwich. One duck, which looks pretty good. Oh, it's got like turkey bacon. Oh, it's turkey bacon, not turkey and bacon. So yeah. Who came up with turkey bacon? You can't have a pig and a... No, 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 no. It's turkey together? Bacon. It's not together. It's just turkey. Oh, It's no. turkey bacon, so it's not pork bacon. Okay. <laughs> So, I don't get it, but... Alright, so <laughs> this is the turkey bacon. It smells and oh, so good. I don't know if there's an egg or cheese on there. It's cheese. Cheese? I'll do the honors. I think this one's like, what, 200 calories? So, lower on the calories. I don't think it's... Oh, 
Oh, hot. Oh, oh. Hot, hot. I don't really mess with like eggs on like stuff unless it's like a. a oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Like it's like it's on like a wheat muffin. I think this is cool for a healthy option. I think the turkey bacon gives it flavor, but apart from that, it doesn't have flavor. And the cheese, you can't taste the cheese. It I tastes bland. It is bland. A little bland. But that, I guess that's what we're going for here, guys. We're going for bland, healthy. And this, I would eat this. Like, it's nothing special. I love cheese and bread. I love egg. Never had turkey bacon, whatever that you, you guys had made bacon up. Before. Whatever, wherever you guys got that from. It's not made up. They got turkey bacon. You get in the store. But how can a pig? Well, and... the bacon is not the pig. Oh, who the is it? The bacon is just the bacon. But hold on. You can have turkey bacon and you can have pork bacon. You probably can even have vegan bacon. But the bacon is just the style of the, the meat. Oh, so the way it's slipped, like the way it's like that, is the thick. It's so it's not actually pig. It's not bacon. This is not. This is turkey bacon. Okay, it's still good, bacon, but I don't it's eat not. Bacon. So, okay, so out of the three spots we went to, if you were trying to eat healthy, would you say had the best <clears throat> options for healthy eating? The best options for healthy eating, I think, would be Chick-fil-A because they had the parfait and they had salads and stuff like that. They had the fruit um, cups too. The parfait was nice. We had a just kind of basically a regular chicken sandwich, but if you were to get that protein style with the, the lettuce instead of the bread, then you'd be in the game. You gotta be busting. I used to eat that back in the days when I was meal planning and working. I would go to Chick-fil-A and get a protein style joint. The I would second, say I would say is Starbucks. Number one, Starbucks is number two. And I just would not go to, I wouldn't go to McDonald's if you're trying to eat healthy because they, in all reality, they, they don't, don't really have any options for you. They don't have any options. I mean, you can do a, you can do a lettuce, you can do a protein style, like quarter pounder too, or. It's still a quarter pounder there, you know? Yeah, like, you don't have the that's bread. That's like teasing. You I feel like that's bread. teasing. If I'm healthy eating, I'm healthy eating. If I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. Like, it's either one or no, the other. Between. I feel like you can't be in between with, like, healthy eating. But this was a cool challenge. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm we yeah, have all I feel this food all over. We do have all this food, but this was cool to try, and it's also like cool to know which places do serve a healthier option, especially if you do, you know, you love fast food like yeah. myself. Yeah, it was cool. And don't forget to check out Uni Meal. They also have an app which is, you know, fitness only. Helps you with your diet. Helps you get some exercise in. Whether you want to do yoga, whether you want want to do functional training any of that stuff um, I think that app is really really like beast for someone who's beast really mode. who doesn't know where to start yeah. and you know kind of needs that extra push. guidance yeah so sure. don't forget to check out uni meal we love you guys and we'll see you in the next video you dig Woo!